Hi everyone, I am Core with MiniesGallery.com. This will be a quick look at Critical Role's The Darrington Brigade pre-painted miniature set to be released on January 31st of 2024. First up is Sir Terion Darrington. This well-armored figure is quite well sculpted and I am really impressed with how well his facial features are captured in this sculpt. The face and head were also well painted and really gives this mini a good overall appearance. Next is Doty. This automaton has a pretty basic paint scheme and the sculpt does well match the artwork for this character. I have become so accustomed to books on WizKids minis including printed text that now when I see a large book like this with blank pages it feels like a missed opportunity. I am really impressed with the Fairy One mini. This is a very nice sculpt and it also really well captures her facial features. The paint application is of high quality with a vast amount of paint steps applied to this mini which includes color blending on the clothes and a stamped fire pattern on the bottom edges. The circlet in her hair and the chain on her necklace are also painted with a very consistent and fine line of silver. The dark owl has some good sculpted features including the texture detailed on his owl bear cloak. The paint application is good and includes some nice gold trim work on the edges of his tunic. Damien wears a maroon suit, which I think could have really benefited from the use of a dark wash to help vary the overwhelming amount of maroon color on this mini. The facial features of the sculpt are a little lacking, but they made up well for that by stamping on all her numerous tattoos on her face, neck, wrists, and fingers. Buddy is an ogre wearing goggles and a chariot on his back for his halfling companion to ride in. This is a very unique sculpt which was given a good paint job and received a nice colored stamp of the Darrington Brigade on the front of the chariot basket as well as a monocolor stamp of the Darrington Brigade logo on the front of his chest armor. The Dwarf Hazel Copper Pot is another very unique sculpt which includes her many instruments she wears and plays and she received a good number of paint steps. The Halfling Macaroni is a very distinctive sculpt which includes some folding mechanical gliding wings. The face is really small on this mini, but it was well sculpted and was given some nice additional details like his red and blue war paint. Mac is on a small sized base and fits nicely into the chariot on Buddy's back. Lawrence Darrington is a nice generic looking miniature that can be used to represent a vast array of characters. I think fans of Critical Role will be very pleased with this set. For people buying this set for general tabletop gaming use, I believe it might be quite challenging to find a use for four of the nine minis in this set. These miniatures will be available at your local gaming stores and can also be purchased from WizKids online store at shop.wizkids.com. I also wish to thank WizKids for providing me with this product to review. Please like this video if you found it helpful and please subscribe to see more of my quick reviews.